Hello to friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I would like to share with you another beautiful knife from uh, Brother or uh, the company is uh, is going with the name uh, Watchman something like that uh, and also Ming Hong Tools and Hardware Co LTD so there are different uh, informations out there but let's go with the with the box okay so this one will be the uh, 1509BL from brother so this is another uh, traditional uh, design from this Chinese company uh, Inside the box you will have a fabric uh, cloth bag, nice touch, nice extra. Okay, so let me show you the knife itself. Let's open it up and let me give you the quick specifications. So we have a overall length of 17 uh, centimeters or 6.69 inches. The blade uh, is 6.9 centimeters or 2.72 inches. And the blade thickness is uh, 3 millimeters or 0 0.12 inches. The blade width is 1.7 centimeters or 0 0.67 inches. The blade is flat ground uh, with a satin finish. It is a nice uh, lenis clip point. Traditional design. The handle is made out of a uh, nice blue G10. The bolster and the inlays are steel and it has a copper uh, washer on the both side inside. We have a blade stop right there. The weight is 78 grams or 2.8 ounces. So shield is this this oval shape here. We have four pins and of course this is a backlock. It has a really nice and smooth opening. It has no visible half stop. is smooth completely right there the spring is not too uh, too tight so you will have no problems opening it up like all previous uh, brothers I own they are really nice and smooth to open sometimes uh, they can have a really strong spring there but given this is a backlog design uh, you will have no problems there Centering is really nice, almost perfect, a little bit to the right. And the pocket profile, uh, even this one has no pocket clip, I will show you how it looks like on a uh, the size of a watch coin pocket uh, let me bring out some size comparisons so one of the oldest one I have here in my collection is the 1501 G oh, this is one with the hole then I have here the 1508 CF and also the one five zero three, which was the first one 
this nine, nice uh, new uh, design, more traditional oriented. So there you can see them. They have also this one uh, with a bone handle. And there is also one more uh, that I do not own. Maybe in the future. Okay, so a few more. We have the small reptilian. Then the bug vintage. Uh, select small. Kershaw skyline. Spider Codelica. K bar dozer. And Kershaw Shuffle too. These are similar sized ones. Okay, so I might say this is a really nice and fresh uh, offering from Brother. I really like it. This one uh, has just a signature stand, uh, stand out traditionally click point design blade with this blue, beautiful blue, almost purple or violet. I know uh, it gives off a different uh, colors through the through the phone, through the camera. Price wise, you are looking at. $66 but usually they are on sale uh, for around half the price so around $33, $34 so definitely if you like uh, this design um, really nice smooth uh, lines so transitions there you can see there perfectly rounded so I must say for for $33 uh, you can absolutely go uh, wrong. I did uh, look at the, the, those new uh, traditionally uh, traditional Kershaw knives they have produced for 2020, but uh, they are probably a little bit more than $33. And I forgot to mention that the blade on this one is a VG10. And usually for around $30, you will get around uh, something like 8CR30 MOV or 440C or 420C. So, yeah. So, brother will go there. Model number is at the bottom part of the plate right there. Oh, let me show you the, the sharpness. I always forgot to show you the sharp of the knives. But let me tell you, uh, this is really nice and sharp. So out of the box. You can probably do a little bit dropping on them and they will be even more sharper. Okay. So this was the Brother 15009BL or also you can find it at the 1509-G10BL. Uh, and uh, if you like, go and uh, uh, get one. So, thanks for watching. If you are a subscriber, thank you very much. If you are not, then please consider subscribing. I try to release at least three videos per week, mostly knife and gear oriented, but also sometimes hobby stuff like uh, painting and tools and flashlights and watches and so on. Everything around the EDC and around the hobby. Okay? So. Wish you a wonderful day and see you soon.